Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. On this one, we'll continue on playlists of short videos about the basics of Blender 3D. We are going to use all the tools we learned in the past video to model a simple toy car as always. You can see the buttons pressing on this corner right here. Let's get started. I'm going to start by deleting the camera and the light object. Let's just keep our 3D viewport a bit cleaner. Select the cube, going to edit mode and let's start modeling. Let's extrude the front of the car. About there, should be good. If I try to move this downwards, you will see that the whole cube will come with it. To avoid that, let's use the loop cut. Ctrl R and let's move it about here. Select this face again and move it down. This bottom section is a little bit too fat, so I'm going to select it and move it upwards. The same right here too. I'm going to the object mode and move this about the grid just so we can see it a little better. Let's pull this forwards a little bit more. This is not straight on the reference image, so I'm just going to select this edge and move it up a little bit. The same goes for this edge here. That will help to keep the shape the way we want to. Before we model the wheels, I want to add a mirror modifier, so we can model just one side of this car. Let's add a loop cut right down in the middle, right click to cancel this, select this by pressing shift to select more than one face, X and deleting the vertices. Head over the branch icon, add modifier, add mirror. You can see that we have the wrong axis. Let's just change it to Y and disable the X axis and enable clipping. Now we can go ahead and press Shift A and add a cylinder. If I try to scale the cylinder, you will see that it has melted on the center part. That's because of this clipping. So let's undo, disable clipping, and then I can scale it. Now I can enable clipping again. Let's rotate it 90 degrees by typing it on my numpads. Make it a little bit bigger and move it downwards, just a little bit. It's way too big on this direction, which is the Y axis. So I'm going to press S to scale and scale it on the Y. Let's move it a little bit too. Let's move it down a little bit more. I'm just trying to get the same shape as the picture I showed you. Now with the face select, I'm going to select this face. Shift S and cursor to select it. That's because I want to make the center pin exactly down the middle. So with the cursor here, it's going to be in the middle. Shift A, let's add another cylinder. Scale down, rotate 90 degrees, scale. That should be about as good size as any. In the reference image, I can see the car is not that high. So I'm going to change this to vertex mode, change to wireframe, B to box, select, and I'm just going to box the select this car and move this down a little bit and move this face a little bit down. The wheels on the toy car have a rounded rim. So let's do that, select this face, select this face and let's do the bevel by pressing Ctrl B. I want more, so about that. If I go any further, you will see there will be glitch. So to avoid that, just press C, the clamp and you will see it won't go any further. And let's do the same on this to make the little pack. I'm going to duplicate this to the other side and to do that, I'm going to select them all by pressing L. This will select the whole object. Now just press Shift D to duplicate and let's move in the X axis. We are almost done. We just need to add a little bit of bevel to the actual toy car because the image one has that bevel too. And I'm also going to make this car a little thinner. It's a little too wide, so press 1 to vertex view, wireframe. Let's select everything and just move everything in a little bit. Now let's just select these faces, which are the ones that I want to bevel. I actually don't want that one. So I'm just going to manually select the edges I want. I don't want this center edge to be beveled, neither this one. Cool, Control B, scroll down. Now get out of the edit mode and go to the object mode and let's apply our shade smooth. Another way to apply shade smooth, instead of looking for it in this F3 menu, is by clicking the right button on your mouse and shade smooth. You can see that it does not look that good and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Let's fix the wheels. There is a line going in the middle. That's because we made the bevel. And if we go back to edit mode, you can see that the bevel we made is one on top of the other. 
that creates that weird line that we see there. To fix that, we need to join these vertices together. There is a way to do this in Blender in very fast way. Just press A to select anything, M to merge and click on merge by distance. The default distance should work just fine. It will merge everything. Now, if you go back to object mode, you will see that the line is gone. We still have a weird looking toy car. To fix that, head over here to the object data properties, which is this little green triangle and enable auto smooth. What auto smooth does is not smooth anything beyond 30 degrees in this case, which works just fine. You can play with this value to get different results. 30 works just fine, so I'm just going to leave it at 30. And that's it, we have a complete toy car made in Blender using our newly acquired skills. Thank you for watching and stay tuned on other videos of this playlist. For even more 3D libraries, check us on 3D.design. If you have a tutorial request, just leave it at the comment sections below, hit the like button and subscribe. Have a great day, bye.